Well, happy Friday, Live at Nine family. It's our final coffee with Corey, or what I secretly call it, cutting up with Corey. Okay. <laughs> for the week. <laughs> so, I like that, though. I like I, that. Yeah, I just want you to know for your first story, I have asked someone who applied for that to find out if they got the ticket. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to get to. So, good morning, everyone. First things first, Justin Timberlake fans are either extremely happy or very disappointed right now. The Millington native surprised everyone by announcing a one night only free concert in Memphis tonight. Fans around the world rushed to their computers to try and win tickets to the show at the Orpheum last week. Well, then came the wait. Ticketmaster did not alert the winners until yesterday. If you got the email, your tickets are at the theater waiting and you have to pick them up using your ID tonight. Well, Timberlake posted a quick clip of what appears to be him rehearsing at the Orpheum on Thursday. Now, the theater says a the show is happening for sure. But of course, be safe if you do head out tonight. So my biggest curiosity is two things. One, if you lived out of town and didn't get the notification until yesterday, did you just quickly get in your car and start driving? Quickly, like, book a flight? Two, yes, did anybody yes. in Memphis actually get tickets? <laughs> did anybody in Memphis? So if you are in Memphis, if you got a ticket, email us, because I'm dying to know if anybody locally has access to this show tonight. Okay, Taylor, I sent you a text. Can you please let me know Don't if know. you got the tickets and before we Coffee with Corey's yeah. over? <laughs> we want to interview you too. <laughs> I love this for so many reasons. Okay, first of all, it's free, right? Yeah. And coming back to his hometown. And then um, three, the excitement of not knowing is kind of like a thrill. It, it's a weird thrill, but for some it's a thrill. And, you know, some of us weirdos. But uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, and then I think everybody, you know, it's, it's like an extra surprise when you are picked. So, I think it's going to be great. <laughs> so I'm such a planner. So you me are, not knowing. You, that's just why she's skinny. drives me insane. I always insane. say that. So. I always say that. That's why you, yeah. you know you you plan your meals. You, and and it's like I want to be more like you. I, I'm working on it. <laughs> you working. be you. you <laughs> oh, be you're you. right. You're right. You're right. You. Yeah. Well, no, I want to be me. There you go. But, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, so Movie Maker Magazine says Memphis is one of the best cities to live and work if you're in the film business. How about that? For the 15th time and the 11th year in a row, Memphis made their list of the top 30 Canadian and U.S. towns this go around. Now, the Bluff City ranks 21st, which the magazine editors say is due to the draw of friendly, film-friendly locations like Beale Street, Stax, and Graceland. Movie Maker also credited Memphis's willingness to host big networks like MTV, HDTV, and and the Food Network. Memphis is the only spot in Tennessee on the big cities list, but Knoxville did place in the magazine's smaller cities and town's top 10. We also have really good incentives if you actually film here. Um, I know you had some experience <laughs> I, with this. I did a cameo. On, yes. was it? I did an actual speaking role on The Young Rock. I think that's fantastic. It was the most terrifying moment of my life. I was, it was so scary. Just like The Rock is there and but I have fun. to do my lines. But yeah. right here in Memphis, filmed in Memphis. so cool. The whole season filmed in Memphis. Right, and I knew I knew other people and we were all sitting there like, oh my gosh, like that's, that's Jaleesa yeah, from like Different <laughs> World. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so it was really exciting. Yeah. And I have to give a shout out to Lynn Sittler, who's of over the film commission. Yeah. Um, I've seen her working behind the scenes and people don't realize really how hard. hard it is. Logistically, she yes. works so hard to get everybody here, to get court, everything. I mean, tax incentives, everything like that, to bring that to Memphis. So it's a lot. Yeah. So yeah. And it, yeah, I just love to see everybody thriving. So, yep. oh, yeah. me too. Me too. Okay. <laughs> and finally, if you love lip balm and you are a fan of Buffalo Wings, this story is for you. Okay. So Burt's Bees and Hidden Valley Ranch. That's right. Hidden Valley ranch want to bring all the flavors of wing season from the basket to your lips. They've teamed up with a four pack of limited edition lip balm that includes ranch, buffalo sauce, crunchy celery and a fresh carrot. Right now, if you try and buy them online, the website says they're sold out, but you can sign up to get updates from Burt's Bees. So if you love your lip balm and you're constantly grabbing it and you love wings, now obviously it's not edible. <laughs> don't eat the lip balm. It's just to make sure that your lips don't stay chapped. I don't know. Okay, so ranch, <laughs> buffalo sauce. I know. Okay, celery. I'm, I'm getting, a huge I Burt's Bee fan. Me but, too. That's all I use. Yeah. Burt's Bee's yeah. chapstick. I, but okay, the celery and carrot. I can like think about it, but yeah. but. 
buffalo sauce. It's and uh, marketing at its finest. That's what oh that is. Oh my goodness, <laughs> ranch. I don't know. How is that sold out? I, I know. Well, it's eleven ninety nine, and I think anything's kind of a, a novelty at that point. Perhaps. Yeah. Perhaps. Is that our last one? It is. Oh, That's it. Okay. Have a great weekend. It's uh, been a long week. Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so Monday we're back with more coffee yeah. with Corey. All right. Thank.